Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can uh, create your first Hello World applications on Jakarta EE using Maven and Pyra server. In order to do that, following the other two video tutorials, what we have to do is to go to the locations where we have our Pyra server, go to the bin folder take that path, go to the CMD, write CD, then paste, here you have our first path, and the second part is, um, yeah, and before even going there to get uh, gain more time, what we start now is we start uh, the domain, the default domain. So we say here start, domain and here this one will start the default uh, domain one if you have created more domain then you may feel free to add the domain name that was starting behind this uh, start domain then the next thing that we have to do is to create our maven applications and then we go back here this is the locations where you want to create our maven applications and in order to do that i will write this Maven comment. I will also uh, paste this uh, comments here in the description of video, so you don't, don't mind. And then we go to the CMD. Write CD. Sorry, you write CD and take this part first. Write CD and again, you copy this part. You copy this part here. And now we are on that part. Then we copy now the Maven commands. And then I also assume that you already have Maven installed in your computer. If you don't have it, Please, uh, you can watch my the other video in my channel on how to install Maven. So here we write Maven V here and get the versions of the Maven that we are running right now. In the meantime, in the other side, we have our domain which is starting. So you can see here that uh, Java is already installed, the JDK and then the Maven 4.0 is there. Then we paste the comments. This one will create uh, this uh, Hello Maven projects in this directory. We type enter. Now we have simultaneously here we are starting our domain in one terminal and also creating the Maven applications in the other uh, domain in the other terminal so this one will both take some time in order to come here maven scanning for projects in force is moving then we are presented with uh, okay some positive message messages and then is still going on here in the other side we have our domain which is successfully uh, created and then we can access the port number on this 4848 here so we come back to that let's look at our maven projects what is going on generating projects interactive mode and then finally here we are presented our message is successfully uh, created and sometimes it may ask you if you want to enter something you can just type enter and then take all the default if you are request if you are asked with the questions prompt with the questions here is our maven projects now the next thing that we have to do is to go inside this folder we go inside 
ELO Maven projects, you are there, then we need to add the dependencies. We open this uh, file here. We need to add the Jakarta EE dependencies. And then we come here in the dependencies here. I have a simple code dependency packages that we need to add. We have that here. I will also add that one in the descriptions for you. Then we have our Jakarta EE versions 8.0. We can save it now. And the next thing that we have to do is to build our package. Build, the pro build our projects. So we come here and type and maven package running this command here we are going to build uh, our maven projects and at the same time here we can also go to the source code and try to see what we are doing here the message that we expect you have our index file here Here we expect this hello world uh, to be displayed. You can also add anything that you want, but that's not the point now. So that's what we expect at the end is building, creating the war projects. And then we have it compiling, compiling. And then notice to run yellow maven projects default war file is being generated. And bam, we have it which is successfully created now. And now if we go inside our file here, our folder here, we should have the target folder which is created and inside target folder you have this wall. So we need to take this full path here and be careful if you are using Windows, you, what you will have to do is to put uh, that inside this double quote because if you have spaces, empty spaces here in your directory, so we take this uh, whole instructions here come back to our Pyra, this is as admin, deploy, then double quote, we put the full directory to the Elo Maven projects war file, and we type enter, we type enter, and then waiting for our applications to deploy. It has been deploy bam here we can see here command deploy executed uh, successfully it means that we can now go to this local os here and type this local os h80 hello maven projects if we type enter we should get hello world display here in short time bam here you see hello world here so we have successfully deployed our applications from the command prompt now we continue and then go and on deploy the applications we have to write as admin as admin on deploy then the project's applications name in order to see our application's name, we can come here and write again as admin list applications. This one will show the application's names that are currently running in our projects. Here we have our applications here. This is the name that we have to enter when we on deploy it so this is hello world and if we type enter 
this is Elo Maven project, sorry. Now we are on deploying. It is taking some time. It's taking some time probably because we have one of the thing that we have now is this. Uh, we have uh, our application which has been is is currently running, so we have to stop that, close that. One here and type again. We can see that here it is successfully on deploy. It is okay, yeah. Then the next thing that we have to do is to go to our admin console and try to deploy the applications from there as the other one is on deploy. Then we come to this uh, local OS 8080 as I've shown you here. Now if you go to the admin page, yeah, it's taking some time. So you have clicked here to come to this page here. It will take some time to start this admin page. Just have to be patient. Yes, come in. See blank. Bump. After some time, we are deployed with this. We are presented with this page. What we have to do is to come here and check the list of currently deployed applications and see if any is running. Nothing is running, as you can see, nothing item item found. So we click here on deploy. Then we will be presented with this page here. We can come here, select this one here. It's currently in German, but yours will be to select the file. And then we go to these locations where we have our WAR file, WAR file, and then we select everything, verify all these options is fit your need, then click OK. And it is taking some time. It is deploying, bam, yeah. Our application is uh, deployed successfully here, enabled here. Then if we click on this link here, we are presented with this link where we can access our applications. You can either tap this one or this one. Now we click both of them. Okay. And it's secure. You continue to go. It is not safe. Bam! We have hello hole in this uh, HTTPS. Same things goes with this one here. So congratulations, you have successfully deployed our applications. And then I hope that uh, if you want to undeploy this one, you can also select here and you are presented with this on deploy. You click on this, continue. Yes. Bump, you have successfully undeployed our applications. So I hope this tutorial has been useful to you. Here I've shown you how to deploy Jakarta applications using both the command prompt and the admin console. Stay tuned for the next video tutorial. Bye.